Hey friends, it's Tracy. Welcome to today's video. I have a Hobby Lobby haul to share with you today. Now I share this stuff because I use a lot of this stuff in my crafting and uh, people want to know where I get it from and where, where I buy it. And uh, so that's why I'm sharing this haul and I appreciate you being here and watching. So let's get started. This trip uh, Hobby Lobby had their unfinished wood that are $5.99 and above. Uh, they're like 40% off. So I picked up another pack of these 10 inch circles. There are six of these 10 inch circles in here. And what I use them for is uh, to paint and decorate for the centers of my wreaths. Now, this is just some of the few things that I've done with these cute circles. I also picked up um, a pack of the uh, just individual letters as well well as the words. Um, a lot of creators are using those words and I'm like, where are you getting those from? And they are getting them from Hobby Lobby. Now this pack right here is in the unfinished wood section in the wood pile. Um, and you can see here, this is all of the words that are in this pack. And uh, then the individual letters, I know that I can hand paint that God has given me that gift, but you know, sometimes you just want, um, so to change it up a bit. And so I picked up some of these letters and uh, so there's 60 letters in this pack. And then also I got um, a pack of this hardwood uh, like blocks, like letters uh, that are not letters, um, wood, wood blocks. And uh, so this was $9.99. So I got it 40% off as well. And uh, so I can't wait to create some spring and everyday crafts with this cute wood. Now, um, I also picked up in the spring section, they have their spring stuff 40% off when I was there. And I picked up this a welcome, which is really cute. Um, it's thin wood and, uh, you know, you can really make it cute. These are the scrapbook papers that I picked up this time and uh, didn't pick up a whole lot because I didn't need a whole lot. So I just got these designs that I'm going to be creating some spring and everyday decor with. Even though I have a wall full of greenery in my craft room, I cannot pass this up because this is one of my favorite greenery bushes that I can get at Hobby Lobby. It has like eucalyptus, it has boxwood in it, it also has some berries in it. And uh, so they had their uh, greenery half off. So I picked up these because I'm gonna be doing, you know, using them on some wreaths. So I use a lot of greenery. And uh, this one is, uh, you know, more thinner uh and uh love it for my wreaths now this right here is i love this i picked up the purple one this time i was looking for the white that had the little white flowers but they were sold out but that's okay because i'm getting a hobby lobby in my hometown so i will be uh visiting it frequently all right these are the crosses that i picked up um you know i'm going to be doing some of these i'm going to be doing some faith-based wreaths that i designed for the gift shop so these are just the crosses that I picked up of this trip and uh, this one right here I um, I have some like um, chipboard crosses that I want to see if I can replicate so that's why I picked that one up kind of like for an idea and then these uh, signs I love this saying here uh, and uh, going to be putting that on a wreath I also picked up some pink deco mesh because I was out of pink deco mesh for whatever reason and uh, also they had some of the 14 inch grapevine wreaths at Hobby Lobby uh, they're regularly $4.99 and so you know I clean them up and then I make my wreaths on them uh, these these are the pink uh, ribbons that I picked up. I like this um, style of ribbon and I can only get it at Hobby Lobby or what I know of. Anyway, I got a hot pink as well as the pale pink. And then since they had the ribbons by the roll 50% off, I picked up some more Rick Rack because you know me, I love my Rick Rack. Um, this right here, they had their paint 30% off. So I picked up this sage green chalk paint because I just like the color. And uh, these are the couple of uh, St. Patty's Day things that I picked up, you know, for some St. Patty's these day. Um, you know, just some St. Patrick's Day crafts. Now, um, 
I did visit Michael's uh, because I just needed a couple of things and I picked up this greenery because I thought that it would look perfect with from that cross that I picked up at Hobby Lobby and I'm going to be using some ranunculus pink flowers that I got at Walmart and uh, I will definitely share that on my page or if I have time I will do a video. Um, I also picked up this little greenery thing. I thought that it will look good you know in my craft room and then this I love this paint it thing it's like color your world and I just put that it has little, like uh, little paint brushes on it so I'm just gonna put that on my shelf in my craft room just for inspiration and then since Michael's got their all their Christmas stuff in late they still have Christmas stuff 75% off so I just picked up these things to use for next year and then the last thing I picked up is this cart topper this uh, uh, wood thing it goes on top of the carts that you can get at Michael's you know the little rolling carts and uh, I I use this cart all of the time you know when I'm doing uh, my crafts I like put my stuff on there and uh, I also use this cart when I'm creating like this is what I put all of my stuff in like when I'm working on that project because that helps kind of help me keep my stuff straight anyway I hope that it inspires someone else all right guys thanks so much for watching check out my um, other videos on my channel uh, subscribe if you are new and uh, or follow my page. All right, you have a great day. God bless.